Welcome everyone to part three of this rating run on chess.com in which I started from as low a rating as they would give me, um, at, which was 400. And so I'm just working my way up to see how high I can go. Um, I played three games in episode or part one and won those, and then I played three more in part two and won those games. So, so far, my rating has gone from 400 up to like 938. And so I'm trying to see how far I can keep this streak and hope that you join me and follow along. So these are rapid games, 15 with a 10 second increment. So let's see if we can find an opponent here and start this game and so it's searching for an opponent all right here we go i have white and so let's start out safe with a d4 pawn move and see what they do and so black is thinking his rating is 863. All right. Instead of putting both pawns in the center, I will move my knight out. See what he does next. All right. So he moves his bishop. Okay. I'm going to move to e3 and that will leave a path for my bishop to develop out here to this d3 square and so i will do that now i'm ready to castle and if he captures it'll just develop my queen up to the center but he does get rid of my bad bishop or excuse me get rid of his bad bishop for my good bishop so hmm that's interesting well, I'll attack that and see what he does. All right, and now he captures, which I'm fine with that. It pulls my queen up, so I have two pieces developed to his one, but it's his move. So I imagine he'll play knight to f6. And so I can go ahead and castle hmm, a pawn move. So I'm going to go ahead and castle. And now I'll move my knight next up to d2. Actually, no, I think I'm going to push this pawn up. Well, let's see what he is doing here. Okay. I will... Hmm. Well, okay. I guess I will just move this pawn forward. Then I can move my knight up here to the C3 square in the future. And let's see what black does here. If he captures my pawn, I'll recapture. I didn't want to capture his pawn as he could have forked my bishop and queen. Okay, what is he trying to do? Okay, now he's threatening this fork here. So I will develop my knight to help cover that e4 square. So he cannot, if he pushes his pawn forward, I can just capture. And let's see what he decides to play next. Okay, bishop to e7. He's getting ready to castle on the king side. And so, hmm. Maybe I'll push my knight forward, threatening his knight. But then if I capture, I don't know. That doesn't seem to do too much for me. 
Okay, we could push a pawn, or maybe we need to just continue developing here. Uh, need to worry about this bishop that's kind of blocked in. So, let's see, what is a good possibility here? And what are, what's our time look like? 14, so our time's about even. Okay, let me decide here. Well, need to develop. Should I push this B pawn and develop here? I think I will try that. I'll push my B pawn up and then I can develop this bishop which is blocked in. I'll put it here on this B2 square where we'll have a nice diagonal up towards the king side, especially if he castles there and you know, after their exchanges in the middle. Okay, what he castles. Okay, I'll go ahead and move that bishop, continue with my plan. And now, what might he do? Uh, let's see, and what plan do I want to work on? My two rooks are not doing anything yet, so I need to develop my rooks out. And let's see, so he moves his rook. I will move my rook as well. Okay, what does that move do? Maybe he's trying to reposition his knight down here. From there, it could possibly threaten my queen. And so, what do I want to try here? I think I will develop my other rook. And that way, if the center is it, if there's exchanges in the center, it could possibly open up an attack on his queen. So that my plan will be to take this pawn. If he takes, then I can check his king and attack his queen at the same time. So let's see if he, if he recognizes that threat. And he's thinking. So he probably saw it, but we'll see here. So... I want to take this pawn. Okay, so where is that knight heading? All right, I'm going to go ahead and capture that pawn. So if he recaptures, I can check his king and then attack his queen. And he attacks mine. All right. Well, I can just retreat. And I think I will do that. Just retreat. Uh, I'll retreat my queen. I have to watch his knights as they move into my position over here on the king side. And does that do anything? And his knights under attack, so he'll either capture and not see this threat or just retreat his knight back. So let's see what he does here. He's thinking. Hmm. Oh, he falls for the trap. Okay. Well, let's do that. 
So he's in check with the bishop, and now we can take his queen. And he resigns. All right. Okay. So that was an interesting game. Uh, let's see. We'll do a quick game review and see what I missed here. <laughs> okay. Analyzing the game and checking for mistakes. Oh, my accuracy was pretty decent on that. 94.3 accuracy. He had 82.7. And let's see. Oh, I had one brilliant move. That may be the... Wonder if that, that might be the first time I had a brilliant move on here. All right, let's see what it says about this game. Okay. Um, all right. It was kind of an interesting opening where I played d4 and he played d6. So I just developed and. Oh, it's kind of really blitzed through those. It says D takes E5 is a great move. There was only one move that worked and you played it. Okay. So, next. And the brilliant move was capturing with check and attacking his queen. Great vision. That move is difficult to see. It says, you really outplayed your opponent in that one. The opening was balanced. It was a well-fought middle game that you got the better of. And so here, looks like my opening accuracy was 95.8 to his opening accuracy of 91.8. And then our middle game, 93.4, and he had 76.5, and we didn't make it to the end game. All right, well... Let's move on to the next game. That was kind of a, a quicker game, but that tactic at the end of that game you know, got me the win. So once again, tactics are important. Study your tactics. Okay, let me get out of this window, and then we will find a new game. All right. Okay, new game. I have All right, I have black. He plays e4. Okay, I'll play a little bit uh, riskier in attacking in this. We'll do a Sicilian defense and see what happens. And as I approach 1000, well this player's 789, but as I get up over 1000 and have to play more difficult opponents, the uh, the games that I play, I'm going to have to be more careful. Okay, let us see. Here, we'll just move some pawns. We'll see if we can trap his bishop. Oh, actually, I don't know if I want to do that because I'll leave my rook open. So, let's see. I guess I'll move my queen. And then if he attacks my oh i see what he's trying to do he's trying to pile up on this right here hmm okay well i will have to go here protect with my queen And maybe he thought he had a checkmate there that I didn't see, but now he's just behind in material. And now it appears that I can... Oh, I should still be careful. Maybe I... 
Okay, let's see here. Let us see. All right, I'm going to trade material off because I am ahead. And so that just helps me out. Okay, and so now we will play this move. He wants to land his knight in there, possibly in this outpost. So let me fight for control of this d5 outpost. And I don't know, I should have this game. I, it's a surprise he hasn't uh, resigned as I'm ahead now. All right, we'll move that knight up there. Okay. And, uh, sorry about that, I was distracted. Some birds flew by the window. <laughs> it looked like they were going to hit the window. <laughs> All right, uh, let's keep developing here. And we'll chase this bishop also, see what, uh, what he's going to do with that bishop. And let's attack the bishop. And... Attack again. Okay, let's keep attacking, I think. Here, before I do that, let me bring this knight forward to help control this, this uh, d5 square that black is aiming at. I don't want him jumping in there. And let's see, next I will, oh, okay, he's trying to do that. Okay, well, okay, okay. All right, I think I'm going to castle. And, yes, I will go ahead and castle. Okay. Well, we'll move our bishop. Okay, so if he captures my rook, I can recapture. And I have my pieces kind of developed. This game turned strange. This is kind of an unusual game here. Um, but I think... You know, I'm ahead in material, so... Okay, he jumps in there. What should I do about that? Capture, does it matter which way I capture? I will... Hmm, capture with this piece. And then I will capture again. Okay. And he's attempting to double up. So I will capture there. He'll have to capture with the bishop. Then I can attack his bishop. Then I can move my knight forward and let us see here oh now I have a fork and I, who knows how long that fork was there I mean well the fork just appeared with with his king moving here to d1 but I could have captured this pawn and attacked his rook 
but now it's with a fork, so I don't know. He should resign shortly. And with this 10 second increment added after every move, uh, it's harder to play for a, a time win. Okay, we'll go ahead and capture that. Now his bishop is under attack. And if his bishop retreats, okay, he didn't. We can get rid of that weak, isolated pawn, capture towards the center, and yeah, he resigns. He was just running out of possibilities and material there. Okay. Let's see, do a quick game review. And it's analyzing. All right. His accuracy was 74.4 and mine was 87.3. And let's see. Intense. Nice win. I was, says you were never in trouble. All right. And interesting opening choice there with the bishop coming out early. He was trying to line up on this weak F pawn. And so I pushed with E6 to protect that. Okay. Let's see how it went here. Queen to c7 is an inaccuracy. This move doesn't hurt you much, but it doesn't help either. So that move was not so great. And you know, probably is better to just push this pawn up and control a little bit of the center. Let's see what it says was best. Uh, knight development. All right. Yes, piece development. Usually it's better to develop your other pieces before the queen. So that makes sense. All right, here another inaccuracy. I overlooked an opportunity to block an attack on a vulnerable pawn. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's see what the best move was. Okay. That wanted me to attack, but then I felt that if I moved here, he could push forward and attack my knight. But I guess he can't do that because the queen is there. All right. And so here, this was a great move. Well, it captured the knight and gained material, but he made a mistake. I, I think he was... Well, I don't know what he was thinking there, so... And it kind of really blitzes through here. F takes, or knight at F takes D5 is excellent. I won material by capturing a knight. And all right. And hmm, I don't see the option to continue. F takes defense next. All right, we'll go to the next key position here. All right. Okay, it said that capturing with this uh, knight, the other knight, would have been better. All right. And as we move forward... G takes F4. At this point, I was just ahead, so I'm going to hurry up and go through this or finish the rest of this summary of the game and move on. All right, in this, my opening accuracy was not, or sorry, his opening accuracy was poor 49.5. Mine was okay, 76.7. Middle games, he had 83.5. And mine was 89.9. .9. And we didn't really get into much of an end game. Okay, let's try one more game and see how it goes. All right, we'll get out of this window and a uh, new game. Okay. And 
here he plays knight to f3 interesting interesting okay i'll play knight to f6 and see what he decides oh and he's 1188 so i'm playing a little uh a more experienced opponent so i'm gonna play a king's indian defense and let's see I guess he's playing a kind of a London, I believe. All right. So he's attempting to get something going there. So we'll just block his attack and try and kick his knight away. Okay, he retreats, and so now, what should we do? What should we do here? Um, he's got a lot of pressure in the center. It's a pretty strong center. So I need to watch out for this push here chasing me away. So can I push the e-pawn yet if he, I go there he captures I go there so I can't do that yet um, I will develop the other knight and see what he does all right development by him and let's see let's see well Do I go forward with this pawn? But if I move to e5, he'll capture. And if I go there, I don't have enough protecting it yet. All right. Well, should I just, here I'll just make a pawn push to kind of keep everything solid. Well, to keep his pieces from moving out here. Or, I don't know. I say we relieve some of the pressure. Just attack his... Attack his bishop. Usually in the London system, you don't want to capture this bishop because then he'll have play down this file. But let's see what he does. If if he retreats, okay, I'm happy with that. Go there. All right, and now let's see what should we try here. Develop our knight up to f6. We could threaten his queen by moving here. See what that does. Okay. He is attacking my position here. What might he try? What might he try? Do we chase him away? I say yes, chase that away. I mean, is he going to exchange? So usually if somebody wants to trade two, excuse me, a knight and a bishop for a rook and a pawn, the two pieces are usually better than the rook and pawn. Anyway, let's, let's attack him. See what he does. All right, and he does follow through with that. And now it's about to get tricky. Okay, he did that, but 
Let's see what I can do here. Do I have an attack on his queen? Let's attack his queen. And attack that queen again. Oh, well, i got to watch out. If I attack his queen again, it's going to be unprotected if he captures there. All right. But that may be what I have to do. Let's see. Now, let's exchange pawns in the center. All right, and now, well, what move do I have? Do I have any threats? This knight is just in trouble. And so, what can I do? What can I do? Uh, I'm in some trouble here, that is for sure. should I do now? Hmm. Hmm. Well, Queen is under attack, so I have to move this. Sorry, guys. Uh, queen is under attack, so I got to do something about that. Huh. No, that doesn't work. Okay. Well. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's just move our queen, move our queen, pin the knight, see what he does, see what he does. Let's get rid of this pawn weakness, but it's going to, okay, actually, yeah. Oof, we've got some issues going on in this one. All right, we'll just do that. All right, at least I got the two bishops, but I don't know. It's not looking good, guys. I kind of messed up in that one. All right, what can we do? What can we do? All right, we got to do something about this. have to do something. I'm trying to hang in there, but I don't know. It doesn't look too good. And my time is ticking down. Okay. Well, 
probably need to get my king and okay so he pushed that pawn to stop any chance of me capturing it and so what can we try here what can we try let's see let's see push this pawn is that what we want to do no no get our king to safety need to concentrate on that for sure okay okay and this rook is not doing anything either mm. it is not looking good in this position that is for sure okay and he has a check thread up here okay okay Do we go in there? All right. And now I'm just running out of time too. Okay. Anyway, yep, let's move forward. Move forward, guys. Kind of see if I can position my bishops around my king and kind of fortify myself in there. But I don't know. It's not looking too good. All right. So he captures that. And, hmm, hmm, well, let's see, it is not looking too good, not looking too good, all right, what is our, what are our possibilities here, hmm, looking so great not looking so great all right so he's probably going to double his rooks up and i don't know i just got in trouble in this game so i'll try and hang on but it is not looking too great. All right, what should we try here? Okay, he's gonna threaten that bishop. I mean, do I just take here? Do I just take? Do I just take? Ah, uh, sure. I'll go after the pawn. Okay, so he's threatening to come down on that side. And what can we do here? What can we do? Hmm. Well, let's see, let's see, how can I use these bishops? How can I use these bishops? All right, I have to be careful there. Oh, he's going to just pile up right there. That's what he's trying to do. He's going to try and pile up like that. And just go after this. Hmm. All right. Do I attack his other piece? Can't do that. I've got to. Ah. I guess I gotta trade off a rook. Trade off a rook and hope that my bishops can do something. <laughs>
Ah, it's not looking too good. Not looking too good. Okay, so there we go. All right, so he does that. Guess I can try and maneuver up here towards his king. And let's see, let's see. A check. And now what? Now what? Hmm. Hmm. All right. All right. Well, it's not looking too good, guys. Not looking too good. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, do we push a pawn forward? He's threatening to come down in here. Okay, okay. Just take that. So now, hmm, hmm. What should I do next? What should I do next? Because it is not looking good, guys. It is not looking good hmm hmm Not looking good at all. Looks like we got a checkmate coming. Yeah, I got oh, I just fell into trouble in this game fell into trouble in this game and then, and then I was just running the whole time after that well does not look good guys it does not look good here
It is not looking good. I probably should just resign, but I mean, I guess I'll just play on further. Let us see here. Let us see. Hmm. I think I gotta give up or make a queen trade because I don't know there's not much I can do here he's gonna check me again and then there's just too many threats I don't have enough material to defend so give up the queen otherwise he'll use the queen and rook to trap me What can he try to do here? night is really blocking me off everywhere blocking me off of everything blocking me every which way every which way Well, I'm hanging in there, guys, but I probably should have resigned a long time ago. Sorry to drag this out for those who have remained to watch this train wreck. <laughs> to do here what can we try is there anything even left to do here all right well we'll just go back there and do I try and come up forward with my go up with my king all right kind of getting blocked out of the position Uh, 
This is a terrible game, guys. Terrible. Terrible, terrible. Ah, oh, he wants me to move up there and then threaten a... Holy cow. What the heck? Threaten a fork if I move up here to try and get up there on that. Hmm. Do I do that? Do I try to take his rook with my bishop? And he'll have that knight left. I think we should not do that. Oh, his king is going to come down into my position, though, if I do that. Hmm. I don't know. It's not looking good, guys. Not looking good at all. Not looking good. All right. Do I do that? Hmm. Well, it's looking really bad, really bad. Okay. Looking really bad. There, we'll do that. We'll do that. It's really bad. All right, okay. Ah. Ah, sorry this is taking so long, everybody who's still hanging in there okay so now hmm He's attacking that piece. What to do? What to do? Do I attack his? Attack his rook? Looking pretty crazy. Looking pretty crazy.
All right, this is a disaster. A total disaster. Oh, all right, sorry, I've just been playing and I should have resigned a long time ago, but we'll just keep going, see what this guy does. <laughs> Maybe I can get a stalemate out of it. I kind of got lost in thought. Sorry, I haven't uh, 
said anything else, guys. I mean, I don't know if the guy knew what he was doing. He would just go ahead and promote his other pawn. You know, forcing me to get rid of my bishop. And then... Yeah, he should just take the bishop if he's having trouble. I mean, I don't know what he's doing, so. Sorry, this is just dragging on and on forever, guys. Oh. Yeah, I think I just fell asleep in this crazy game. game was horrendous. Sorry you guys had to deal with that craziness. Yeah, that was terrible. Alright guys, well... I don't even have to review that one. That was so many moves. The review will probably take the or take forever. I just well, we'll do a quick review just in case. But yeah, that was not good. <laughs> See where I went wrong in the beginning of that game. My accuracy sixty eight point four. Yeah, that that was just an ugly game. Sorry, you guys had to watch that. All right, let's see where I started to go wrong here. Hmm. Said that move was a mistake. You're threatening me. Okay. So, yeah, it looks like I should have just got control or you know, fought for control of the center here. And then here... Oh, that was a blunder, losing material. So best would have been blocking the path of this 
bishop down here. Yeah, I just let him get into my position, it looks like. And that pin on the knight, that's what did it. So, and yeah, I thought about playing this move, attacking his queen, which I did not do. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. Oh, great. I thought he had a... Uh, another queen move when I attacked him but I don't know I could have saved my knight so anyway yeah that's where I went wrong one little tactical error and the game kind of fell apart and it looks like later in the game I had a chance up here where I I got ahead again that's interesting so I must have missed something later on in the game a mistake here yeah, this game was just pretty ugly, guys. I'll try not to do that the next game. See if I can play better. All right. I don't know, I'm curious on this upcoming area here where it shows that I, I got ahead here. King takes d3 is a miss. I missed an opt opportunity to capture a rook. Oh man, did I miss that? That I could have just taken his rook right there? Yeah, I think the game drug out so long I, ugh, I started falling asleep. All right. Yeah, here I'm just done. And, yeah, I don't need to drag this out for you guys. I'll finish this up. If you're still hanging around, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please like and subscribe. Leave any comments. Uh, sorry for such an ugly game there. <laughs> I guess every now and then we have a really bad game. All right. Thank you guys, and have a good day.